This short film is about a very special project for Afghan refugees running every week at Lords. One of the greatest privileges of my work as director of the MCC Foundation is to identify projects which will transform lives through cricket. I have worked in Afghanistan for much of my life and grown a deep love and respect for its courageous people. Having been involved in the rise of cricket there through my former charity, Afghan Connection, which received backing from MCC, I understand the deep passion with which the game is held and how it has brought joy and hope to the people of Afghanistan. As the tragic events of August 2021 unfolded and the Taliban took control of Afghanistan, I and my team became determined to do all we could to support those arriving in this country as refugees, leaving behind everything they knew and loved, often fleeing in fear of their lives. Cricket seemed the ideal way to embrace them and welcome them to the UK, to support integration and help them to recover from the trauma of conflict and loss. And where better to do this than the home of cricket? Everyone we approached got behind us. Generous donors stepped up, MCC leapt into action with coaches, facilities and food. The Jewish Council for Racial Equality provided English books. The Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea and Westminster Councils offered interpreters and a bus. Bat for a Chance provided kit and volunteers signed up. Afghan coaches who had once arrived as refugees themselves were on hand to support the project. We will never forget that first day leading 70 Afghans of all ages into Lords. The emotion, the joy, their first outing since arriving in the UK. Girls who borrowed the trainers off our feet so they could play cricket. Nor will we forget the stories shared, the friendships built and the huge smiles with which we are rewarded week by week. And life keeps moving on. Babies are being born now, children are in school, families are slowly moving away, others are arriving and by popular demand we will continue in the new year. first arrived uh, probably didn't know much about cricket and it helped me in uh, different ways uh, in terms of uh, uh, getting my education learning English and uh, a lot of aspects of life getting to find a lot of friends especially my own Afghan fellow men I'm loving every single uh, second of it. Seeing uh, my Afghans, uh, elders and youngsters, and uh, and of course uh, uh, teenagers, uh, seeing the passion they have for cricket and uh, the hard times they've been through uh, in the recent times, uh, it's, it's amazing. I love it, and I'm so glad to see them, and uh, I'm so glad that I'm actually doing something to bring smiles on their faces. It's, it's, it's great. When you say, have you eaten, to make it clearer, you could put, have you eaten today, you see? And then you say, I have eaten today. Uh, I heard about laws, laws. And it was my dream to come one day to the Lord. We are going to the Lord. I told my children, come on. Uh, and my son, younger son, uh, I was telling him about the, the big stadiums of cricket when I was in Afghanistan. And I was telling him, this is Lord. This is the biggest stadium of cricket in England. And most famous players are playing in this uh, stadium. So today, when I was informed we are going to Lord's, was really excited for me and my children. As you know, uh, this family has suffered a lot 
and everybody was mentally damaged. So such as activity may change their mind and they give them some happiness. That's really good. I can see uh, the children, teenagers and older. Everyone is excited. Everyone wants to play.